Hi, and here is who wanna be a millionaire program developed in PowerPoint. I just feel I should share it with you guys anyway. I have a couple of these on uh, YouTube already, but in PowerPoint, I think uh, it's a thing you would like to know. It's easy to do anyway. So let me start by clicking on my button right here. That's the first question. So, the good thing is you can always click on either 50 50 if you want. Let's see what happened there. Oh. Supposing you know the answer, that's the answer right there. And let's take it to number two. Got the answer there as well. You get uh, rounds of applause from the audience. Number three, yeah. Four, I think that's the answer. Five, maybe this. Just sort of let's speed this up. Okay, so you get to 15 and you start the game all over again. Okay, bring in the figures. You still have the music, you can always turn the music off if you want. That's it right there. Okay, supposing we go for number one. If we click on number one, and then maybe this time around, there's a phone. Ask the audience. You still don't, the audience didn't get it, telephone didn't get it right. Okay, then. 50 50 and you can also just decide not to choose 50 50 and just use any of this so that's what uh, that's how this game works so what i would do next is just take you straight into a, a new development environment then you guys see how it works okay let's turn this off all right so let's go back into powerpoint now okay i'm starting a new project now the first thing I do is, since my PowerPoint is open, just delete those uh, components there, uh, get rid of them, and uh, right click on it and select your background. Right here, click on picture, just there. You, we don't want this. Let's go for insert picture from. And here I have a couple of those background that I've made up uh, previously, so maybe I should select this. And all right that's how it looks all right so if i play this slide this is how this is how it looks like all i just need to do now is to enter the bonus point my logo and the cash to be one somewhere there and uh, i need the label here i want the command button right there so let's give that a shot right away the first thing i'll do is select my developer tab right there if you don't have it just alt f11 now right here just draw a square here that's where my button is going to be and i also need image i'm going to need six of this all right so Let's go right click on the button right there. Select property. There should be a modifier one somewhere. Okay, let's search for that. So that is the image right there. So all I just need to do is to change the back color right here. Change it to black. Uh, let's go for this. Index black. This is how it looks right now. And we need some more pictures here. Let's come here and uh, let's make copies of this in here. So I have my frames there. So this first part will be for just to get those image out of the way. The bonus image okay. there. So we have to reduce the size of that. Okay, now all of the images are ready. Let's just cover them up. I want these ones right on top of those ones. And uh, the other thing is let's just move them to one side really okay that's how it's looking now all that is left for me to do is just to draw another frame here and uh, let's change the background color of this image to, to black back change that to black and that is it for now so if I run it this is how is looking right now we will not finish yet we need to then write some couple of codes to make it work just like any other millennial game so let me save it for i do any other thing so i save it in i need to change that to 
enable macro so that's millennia 2 let's put a 2 there good save all right so we just need to end this very one now and start with the coding so we double click on this and uh, go to insert so what i intend to do is to add my merger there for for the sound okay now we're ready to insert our codes for the sound so i will now enter the following lines of codes it's very similar to this in fact it is the same code that i use for the who want to be a millionaire in uh, excel that i use is the same vba codes okay so let's get rid of that of that all right and here i have the functions defined right there and i have the sub procedures and here are the sub procedure that i will be calling okay i'll be calling one that's the millennial sound that is the winning sound and this is just to stop the millennial sound or the winning sound okay let's go back to the interface now so the next thing is to now double click on this very command button and enter the following lines of codes so we double click on it the code i'll be entering is as follows it is a very long line of codes that i wrote for it so let me just take it up okay right here that is where i've called one of the functions for the sound this one that i've called will actually play the millennial sound so if you look let's go into the module right there that's it right here that's the one that will play the millennial sound okay so let's go back double click on that now i have counter there so let me just make that clear you must declare option explicit right there okay and counter say dim counter as integer all right that's counter right there declared up there so now counter is assigned a zero value so once you first click on the command button then what we happen then is all of these labels becomes visible and these are the colors for the label the font color for each of the label background color font color okay now then command button one becomes one if command button one is one image 21 becomes visible and all other images becomes false so if i take that down it's exactly the same thing that i've repeated and here that's my very first question then counter itself the variable up there becomes one and it's exactly the same lines of code that is repeated there's 15 of those repeated all the way down let's take it again from the second okay take it down let me close this so that you see the rest of the question okay just using if then else statements and that is for the command buttons if you have any need for the code just send me an email and i'll forward this to you that's 14 now that's 15 now the command button will become 16 and when it becomes 16 image 21 becomes visible again image 22 sorry becomes visible and that is all there is to that and that'll be the end of that okay that's for the command button so let's go back so that you guys see the rest of the codes okay guys the next thing i'm going to do now is to enter some lines of code here to reset the whole component here just to show you those are the all the images I have I have 22 of those but uh, it starts from image 7 okay so if you calculate it 7 up to 15 altogether 
so that makes image 22 so if I double click on this very label this is label 1 I have 2 3 4 5 double click on label 1 enter the following lines of code just to reset the system so if you look at it it's all to reset this is the sound that will stop the millionaire sound then all of the labels are cleared the back color is reset to blue command button 1 reset to 0 counter back to 0 the variable I declare earlier then the visibility of the following images those images let me show it to you if you guys can still recall that's image number 2 underneath I have image number 1 right underneath somewhere you've image number one and this is number six and this will be number three or four okay I have all of the images inserted there okay then all right so let's go back now so that is to reset all of the images and what will happen is all of these image become false why image 22 becomes true all right those are the codes to just reset the system okay we'll go back into the system the next thing we need to do is to enter the following lines of codes to determine the right answer so let's do that now let's double click on here on label 2 right there double click on it and right there those are the lines of codes that would determine the right answer the one I say green that means if you click on that that becomes green take it down all of these will come orange and so on let me take it down so that you see it like I said if you need this code just get in touch with me okay the next one you may um, label 3 double click on label 3 I've already entered the code as well right here let's take it down it's a long line of code I can't be writing all this all over again for you guys let's have a look it's easy okay now image number four there you can see counter becomes one this should happen when counter becomes two or counter becomes four that should happen counter becomes three this is counter becomes two or fourteen and if counter becomes three four five six and 12 15 okay that means uh, those are winning answers there okay these are wrong answers counter is 7 8 13 i've grouped them there and counter becomes a 9 11 9 10 11 okay now let's go to the next one the last one all right there counter become or the count become one count become two and fourteen will happen and three four five thirteen fifteen sixteen and six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so that's what we happen so those are the lines of codes now if we double click on fifty fifty this is what happened when counter is zero image number one must be false why image number two is true must be visible okay and else this is what happened image number one is visible that is if count uh, the count is less than greater than and equals to one okay well, let's take it down if counter is this this is to determine because it's 50 50 take away one of those uh, labels that's what happened here okay so have a look at it there's additional lines of codes up to here now let's look at phony frame that's just a line of code for phony frame there now let's look at the audience this is just the lines of code for the audience from here to here okay then that will be all right now so the only thing I can just do now is uh, run the program let me run the program and just click on the slideshow 
Alright, so start the program. Question 1. Next. Question 2, you might not know the answer to that. Okay, next. Question 3, phone a friend. all your lifeline right there so just like any other game and number five D number six C number seven supposing you get it wrong mm. you have another chance okay Number eight, nine, ten, receive. Number ten, supposing you don't know it, okay, you know it, that's correct. And eleven, reset. And that's all there is to it. Bye for now.